Hey guys, it's me, Mallory. And for those of you who don't know me, I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. It is Saturday morning, so you know what that means. Tag sales, garage sales, yard sales. Very exciting. Um, while everyone else in my area is preparing for <laughs> Tropical Storm Henry, buying bread and things like that, I am focused on tag selling. I went to the outlets yesterday and I went to the Pepperidge Farm outlet. So honestly, I think we have enough raisin swirl cinnamon bread to last us about a week. So I think I'm good. So this is more important. I will take you along with me and let you know how it goes. Bye. How did you hook it up? The shipping. Yeah, I think these guys are kind of choices. Mm -hmm. Turn that room here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay guys, so while everyone else is buying like water and bread, yeah, I'm focusing on Starbucks because if my coffee machine doesn't work, I will have a headache because I'm addicted. So this is priority. Hey guys, so yeah, I'm back. Um, I did stock up on about 18 cans of Starbucks just in case we do lose power. So that was very important. Um, and I had $45 cash on me for tax selling. I don't know if you guys do this. Let me know in the comments below, but do you give yourselves like a budget depending on the week or just for tax selling? So once I hit that $45, I'm out of money and I can't buy anything unless they take like cash app and then I'm tempted. But I do love coming home with an Ikea bag full of stuff for $45. So just quickly, I'll let you know what I found. I found an L.L. Bean men's jacket. Very nice. A couple free people, little like tote bags. Um, I did find a cashmere pretty scarf. Um, I found more vintage baby clothes, guys. You know, I feel like God is just sending them to me. Like, the vintage baby clothes are finding me. I'm not finding the vintage baby clothes. Look how adorable this is. It's literally, like, hand knit or something because... And look at these tags. Okay, well... Kind of hard to do this with one hand but um i found some just adorable adorable vintage baby items that i know will sell for a lot sorry about that guys not used to holding my camera like this usually i set everything up professionally but i figured hey it's saturday come along with me let's just be real about everything here this is new with tags it is a men's weatherproof jacket 
And I will put comps up on the screen because I don't just want to do like thrift haul videos. I want it to be informative. Um, this I got for $2. I'll put comps up on the screens. I did look up comps on that before purchasing it. A lot were going for about $30. I also, how cute, Cabbage Patch Baby kid clothing um those sell really well in lots but guys the best thing i found you know my favorite thing to sell i've sold hat sweater jackets um everything is burberry so i did find a burberry jacket and it is authentic i did pay i've only paid about 20 dollars for it so i'm super excited about that um so yeah, it is worth it to get up early. One thing that was super annoying was the first tax sale I went to. They advertise it as a moving sale, right? So let me know how you guys organize your routes of tax sales. I try to go by what I believe will have the most items. So moving sale, you think they'd have a lot of stuff, right? They had like 20 things and it was like kids, outdoor toys, like stuff I just know. A couple Kate Spade bags that she wanted to sell for like $30. And I'm like, lady, put that on Facebook Marketplace then. So, yeah. And it was all the way out of the way from the other one. So, thankfully, by the time I got to the next town over, um, there was still a lot of stuff left. Um, that's why I encourage you guys to get out early. I try to. I, I'm not annoying. Like, if they say no early birds, I won't be there before the time. But I will be there on time. Um so yeah, um, just a couple hours of work and got a lot of stuff, $45. Like I said, you, you see the comps up on the screen. So take advantage of this good weather while we still have it. And I hope everyone is safe during Tropical Storm slash Hurricane Henry. Hopefully I don't lose power, but if I do, you saw my vitamin waters and my Starbucks and my cinnamon bread. I'll live. We'll be fine. Take care.